Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. This is a reading that someone had suggested that I do and it's kind of in the current events as well and it would be Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. They're both the same age. She is a Sagittarius and he is a Libra, I believe, October 5th. So he's only about a couple of months older than her. So I thought I would just see what cards come out for these two and see what happens. I My feeling on it is is a little bit indifferent than uh, anybody else because I really don't follow her. I'm not a big fan of her. If anybody out there is new to my channel, a little bit about myself. I'm a clairsentient, clairvoyant. And um, what I do is I read people. That's where I shine. That's where I do my best work. It's reading people. And I read energies. I read feelings between them. Um, uh, vibes emotions. Uh, I can pick up char characteristics from people um, just by picking up their energy. So I do offer, I do have three different services that I offer. If you're interested in purchasing a private reading, please email me. I will have my email below. I have three different services. The first one is one question, $30. You get five cards and an energy reading. Two questions, $45 you get five cards per question and an energy reading and a full reading is $70 with five cards for each reading or each question maximum of four questions and I will pull more cards if I need if I need to my turnaround time is less than seven days and um, it doesn't take seven days but um, if uh, I'm busy or whatever the case is it may take a little bit longer so if you would like to if you have one burning question about your favorite celebrity or even for yourself like if you should take a job what kind of line of work you should go into why you're you and your mother don't get along or you know whatever the case is I can do a reading on all of that career love you know uh, family that sort of a thing and for those of you who keep coming back I truly appreciate every single last one of you for commenting liking sharing subscribing I'm I'm so grateful for it okay so Taylor Swift and this Travis Kelsey eh. I don't know how long they've been dating, but I'm not picking much up between these two. I do get excitement and I kind of get a crush and maybe puppy love or whatever, you know, whatever you want to call it. It's the beginnings of this, but I, I don't know if this is going to last. Um, she's got a trail of men behind her and good for her. I don't think that's bad. Uh, watch out, Travis, because there might be a song coming. I, I, for her, I feel that sometimes she's a bit naive. And she puts herself into a relationship and then it just crashes and burns. I did a reading on her and I think it was the last boyfriend. I felt, I found that that relationship was quite boring. I got, like, I got that he was kind of a, a boring guy. I don't know if he was or not, but let's just see what the cards say about these two. What are the energies between Taylor and Travis? Two different worlds, right? Like, at least she's not dating a singer, you know, because she dated a lot of singers and musicians and things like that. But, eh, I don't know. I don't. I, I have a feeling this, this might kind of peter out. All right. So, what are the messages between Travis and Taylor? The way I do my card readings is I shuffle till one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. If more than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck and shuffle till the one card falls out. What are the messages regarding Travis and Taylor? Travis and Taylor. What are the messages between Travis and Taylor? What are the messages? And Taylor. Travis and Taylor. I get a young energy with her. I'm not saying she's immature because I don't think she's immature, but this this naiveness with her. I feel like she does put her heart into relationships and they don't they don't work out. I don't I don't know if she just doesn't get back what she puts in or if she gets bored after a while or something. Taylor. Travis and Taylor. 
I hope it, there she is. She's shown up in the reading. Travis and Taylor. I don't know um, with these cards if it's going to truly work out for them because I see this moon card come up so it talks about with with the moon card, this card says, by the light of the moon, we do not see all the facts. I have a feeling that there might be some facts here that are missing in this relationship. Maybe they're not sharing um, information with each other about each other yet. I don't know how new this is. If you guys want to comment down below and tell me how long they've been dating or whatever the case is. But we do have here the Ten of Wands, which talks about... Um, Stress, exhaustion, too many responsibilities. I don't know if she's too busy for a relationship. She's carrying a load. I feel like this is her. She's carrying a load. And I think she could see this guy here and there. But I, I feel like he might be a little possessive and want more from her. And I don't think she'll be able to deliver because I feel like the fans are number one to her. Okay. All right. Here's the King of Cups. A great father and husband. Tolerant, empathetic steady this could be him he's a libra this represents cancer pisces scorpio but i feel that he could be that man i think he's ready to settle down and i don't know if she is okay um i think she still has a lot to do her fans are number one to her and she wants to make the fans happy so i get this feeling from her that nothing stands in the way of her fans this is her priority and i don't know if she is like um a workaholic or something like that but eventually he's not going to understand um what it is that this relationship is okay all right the page of cups speaks about this new love there's the offer right he's made that offer to her right they're getting to know each other again i don't know how long they've been dating if somebody wants to leave a comment below but it could turn into it could mature to this king of cups okay there she is she is that um, feisty woman. She's self-assured. She's confident. She's the master of her domain. And she's passionate. And um, what she does is passionate. Okay? So I think he sees the passion in her. But there might be too much. Might be too much passion here. So he is an air sign and she's a fire sign. I mean, air, what does it do to fire? Air will make that flame that fire, right? Air will flame the fire, but the fire also uses up oxygen. So I have a feeling here he might give to her and she might not give enough in this situation. And then here is the moon card. And this is about just... Um, the moon card talks about, let me just get a deeper meaning for you guys. Um, the moon talks about illusion, um, the unconscious, mystery, deception, uncertainty. This could just be a phase um, where they've just started out and it's very illusionary, very dreamy. They don't know the facts yet. He really doesn't know what she's like, um, how busy she is, how much she works. This is about Feeling confused, disappointment, dissolution. This is about emotions running high and a need for a decision. Okay. Now, I'm thinking that, like, I mean, maybe at this point, they really don't know who each other is. Again, you know, maybe they went on three or four dates or something like that. But I don't know. I don't, I don't, get, I don't get a whole lot of passion here in this relationship. Um, I just get that excitement of meeting each other. Let's see where this happens. But I feel ultimately they might just, they're, they're, they, they could go their separate ways. Um, just because their lives are so different. She's very busy all the time, I, be, I believe, I feel. Okay. All right. There you go. That is the reading on Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. I really hope you guys enjoyed the reading. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.